What's happening, YouTube? It's your player partner, Red Room Egos, checking in. Top of the top, another morning. You know, rise and grind, keep God first. Hustle hard, pray and hustle hard, what you praying for, you feel me? Um, this video is going to be about um, avoiding entitlement and just being grateful for where you at in life and you know just staying in the present moment and I was uh I was laying over my son right and you know I caught myself drifting off you know complaining about some stuff and then I started thinking like bruh you know life is real short, right? Like real, real short. Like I was listening to Charleston White. Shout out to Charleston White. Um, and he was speaking on uh, the death date doesn't matter, and the day you born doesn't matter because that's already set in stone. The, mo the moment the moment you brought into this uh, plane existence, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the thing that matters is the dash. You know what I'm saying? He was like, pay attention to the dash. He was speaking on takeoffs, uh, death. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it's just everybody making an uproar about it and stuff. About, or about how Gillian Kid was making a big deal. A lot of people recording um, his death. You know what I'm saying? And he had some exceptional um, points, and Gilly did. But the one thing that stuck out to me was um, when he said what is important is the dash. And when he said that, uh, the dude that I was watching, he was like, man, y'all let me know what that means. You know what I'm saying? In the comment section, because maybe there's just some Texas lingo and stuff. And so I automatically assume, because I don't know Charleston White personally, but I automatically assume that he meant pay attention to the dash means pay attention to what the person did while, while he's here. And not only that person, but everybody here. Like the only thing that matters is the legacy you left behind for us to go back and, you know, uh, observe. You know what I'm saying? What did you do while you was here? What, what, what positive productive work did you do in the society, in the community? to help inspire others to get on their grind, to help, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was asked this question not too long ago about what I wanted to be remembered as. And, you know, my younger self, me, I'm, I'm young, I'm 26 years old, but me being like in my early, early 20s, like 18, 17, going, like my, still my teens, going up to 20, if you was to ask me that question, I probably wouldn't have an answer for you, you know what I'm saying? But the answer that I had told that person was, now, now that I'm 26 and I kind of know uh, the person I want to be remembered as, I want to be remembered as a person who inspired others to um, hustle, you know, keep God first, hustle, grind hard, everything earned, not given, so, you know, just um, staying humble, but com um, having complete confidence in yourself. Um, just, a, just, a, just a person that inspire others to really go hard, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was watching Nipsey Hussle, um, Words of Wisdom, right? And he was like, they went into this uh, old um, studio or house studio that they had made for themselves. So I think it was Hoggy Crib. And on the walls, they would write down like motivational stuff to keep them inspired to, you know, keep going. And one of the things that stuck out to me was when it said, um, crush your enemy totally. That's from Art of the War. That stuck out to me. 
but another thing that stuck out to me was um how hard are you really going it was a question like how hard are you really going are you really going that hard can is there like are you or are you are you just putting a cap to yourself are you putting a limit to yourself right and so i really started thinking like that like man the only limit is yourself you know what i'm saying you, and, and, and you can really do whatever you choose to do when you set your mind to it like like we are multi-dimensional beings and there is no limit to what we can do on this earth you know when you really think about it and you start questioning everything around you we are and i just read this in a book too that i'm reading but we are quotation marks to our ancestors like when you really think about it it's it's nothing different from the times we're living in now to the times they were living in you know the sky was blue uh you know just the pictures that they took back then if we was to look at them now when they first had photographic uh you know um uh i want to say technology i guess but when they had things to take photos with the pictures would come out in black and white and you would think that that's how it looked back then the whole time if you if you take things at face value but if you think hard there is no difference like the sky was blue transportation was like you know what i'm saying and um it just put me in a headspace where like man the more knowledge i'm gaining knowledge was understanding i'm getting the more i'm just i'm i'm starting to become more calm and stuff you know what i'm saying more relaxed you know what i'm saying and i'm starting to have a more of a abundant um mind frame oh that's why i said that because it's like think about the cars we driving in just everything that we are using phones everything the thing that i'm recording on right now and stuff it was created it was, it was, start, it was started off as a thought everything everything started off with a thought and then got inspired by the desire to create that thought and bring it into reality you know what i'm saying so it's like the more you have your life force energy inside you and this is for the men the more life force energy the solar energy you have and the more you focus on yourself the more you're able to you know grow in solitude and start being creative and utilize your sixth sense which is your creative imagination when you tap into that sixth sense of infinite um What's the word I'm looking for? Infinite um, knowledge. Then that's when you are putting yourself on a different board, should I say. You know, in a different league, should I say. You know what I'm saying? When you tap into that, when you really focused and you got tunnel vision, man, you really... That's when you become a man that's a, like a one-man army. And as far as being grateful, I was thinking to myself, like, man, I done been through, I could have I could have died by popping pills, you know, cut with fentanyl. I could have died when I was running with some people that I had no business running with, and a nigga shot me you know what I'm saying in my leg and shit but that was a, that was a wake up call from God cause God knew that I had no business out there but he also wanted to you know put some fear in my ass to let me know look next time the gun gonna be real and gonna really smoke your ass cause I remember I was, I'm putting myself in that situation before before it happened, man, I literally, my spirit literally came to me, right? 
and it I, it felt uneasy. It really felt uneasy. It felt like I shouldn't do it, but I went against my better judgment and did it anyway. And that decision, based off me being loyal to some motherfuckers that didn't give a fuck about me, could have cost me my life. And 10 times out of 10, the motherfuckers wouldn't have checked up on my mother, wouldn't have checked up on my sister, my father, or any of my close friends to see if they okay. They would have they would have moved on with their life. Would have tried to fuck on fuck on um anything that I used to fuck on. Just you know what what fake ass niggas do, what fake men do, fake ignorant men do. And I don't put the blame on them. I put the blame on me. I take accountability for me being a follower instead of a leader. Stepping into my leadership position. So that shit. And then I remember getting into it with this one guy and him bringing it up saying that, yeah, he told me about that happening and this, that, and the third. And I'm just thinking like, that's supposed to be some in-house shit. How did this nigga know about it? He wasn't there. And so I just, it just kind of clicked in my head like, man, there is no such thing as friends, close friends, none of that shit, man. It's either you my family or you a nigga on the street that I don't give a fuck about. And you know, the karmic cycle is undefeated. You know what I'm saying? There's always consequences for your action. There's good consequences and then there's bad consequences that you gotta reap. The energy you put out, it's gonna come back to you in uh, different forms, any form or fashion you can think of, for real, for real. So if you're putting out good, positive energy, it's going to come back to you. But if you're putting out that bad energy, negative, pessimistic energy, it's going to come back to you. So I feel like as spiritual beings living in this human existence, uh, just remember that we have to be mindful of our energy and how we you know, decide to use it energy we put out in the universe because the universe is always listening the universe is you know on your side everything you manifest will come back to you positive and negative you know what I'm saying it's nothing to be scared of it's just more so just be conscious and aware and mindful of your actions you know what I'm saying so that's just a little food for thought food for your soul. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way to work right now. And man, I just woke up with energy. I, I literally woke up like I woke up at six in the morning. Six in the morning, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I said, you know what? Let me just start doing stuff around the crib. And get ready for work. Cause I usually wake up around like seven. tired like I usually be wanting to get some coffee or something but I had to woke up with energy and just inspired to you know get the day over because this is my last little day of the schedule or the work schedule and then I'm off you know what I'm saying I'm work some overtime today and then I'm gonna get off work head to the gym get my workout in you know what I'm saying and just uh just chill be patient, you know, so that's the law of the universe, being patient, that's the frequency of the universe vibe at, being patient and just waiting and just letting God work, and letting the universe work, so right now, I feel like I'm out of touch with the, uh, I feel like I'm out of touch, out of touch with the uh, world, but I'm in harmony with everything in the world, you know what I'm saying? And that came from doing shadow work. That came from just me really thinking about who I am, who Dominic is. And the more I think about that, and the more I start focusing on who I was as a child, and just growing up, the more I start 
excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, realizing, man, I'm really a gentleman, a true gentleman. Like, I'm a real gentleman, like, a very respectful person. That's how I was brought up, to be a respectful person, man. And just cool, calm, collected, and, and nonchalant, stoic. Just, just be chill. So, you know, that's how I'm gonna do my stuff. Um, you know, I feel like this video is long enough. Um, as far as entitlement, man, avoid entitlement. Um, you're not owed anything in this world, man. Everything earned, not given. You know what I'm saying? Think of the canvas strategy. Just do your research. Think of the canvas strategy. Yeah, but shout out to you if you cultivate your energy. Going within yourself. To um, master yourself. My name is Railroad Egos. Signing out, man. Peace.